What's up guys and girls, Archmage's Fariston here and Mistlands has finally been released. So very exciting news and I thought I'd put a video together to show you some of the enemies that you'll face and some tips that I've learned along the way and at the end of this video I'll show you how to build the Black Forge. Okay, let's get into it. So as you walk around the Mistlands you'll come across two main enemies, uh, the Seeker and the Seeker Soldier. So here you can see I'm fighting the Seeker. They're not too tough. Uh, you can take them out with about three or four arrows or a black metal weapon. You'll also see uh, in the distance a floating enemy which I'll show you how to fight in just a moment. Uh, you'll also see jumping around the hares. The hares drop meat and they also drop uh, scales which we'll use later on so I'll just show you here I'll try to take down this hair but <laughs> it's jumping around I'll show you that in a minute but what I will show you is the enemy floating in the distance and we'll get to that just now so this enemy is called a gajal or gajal if you want to pronounce it and they can be quite dangerous they fire off these uh, beams of fire which do quite a lot of damage and you want to aim for the underbelly if you hit them with ice arrows from below you'll see this sort of orange underbelly uh, it does probably twice as much damage as if you were to hit them on the outside of the body uh, you want to also use the Yagluth special skill because that protects you against fire damage. So we'll just come up here and shoot a few arrows off. And you can see I've hit it on top uh, so it hasn't done much damage. You really want to get underneath them and hit the orange underbelly. As I was fighting actually this hair got stuck so I took it out with the pickaxe so you can see what it drops, it'll drop some meat and some scale hide. So it's a good way to farm. At this point I've worn the Gyal down quite a lot and again aiming for that orange underbelly. Just get out of the way of the flames. Run down here. Let's hopefully not get hit. Oh, he's still after me. So after running around a bit I came up to the top of this hill and I've just taken the shot and killed it and you'll find that it drops what's basically a gas bag and let's just get over there and grab it oh and they will release these ticks you really want to take the ticks down as quickly as possible because they will jump on you and suck your blood uh, which is very annoying. As you can see here, it's sucking my blood. Uh, I want to switch to a sword and chop it off. <laughs> okay, there's one. It drops a blood clot and there's two. So here, we come over and we get the bile bag. So when you start out, in the Mistlands you want to bring a black metal axe with you so you can chop down these Yggdrasil shoots and that'll drop Yggdrasil wood, very important for later on. The next step is you really want to build a black metal pickaxe as soon as possible. You'll need three Yggdrasil wood pieces and 20 black metal. You'll also need the Yggdrasil wood for the black metal forge and for other advanced items you'll need later on. Here you can see the Wisp Fountain. So once you defeat Yagluth, he will drop these three Torn Spirits, you'll need one of them to build the Wisp Fountain and you have to wait until night time, it won't work during the day. Come here at night and you'll see these little blue balls of light floating around, you can pick them up and those are the Wisps. And you use the Wisps 
to build a wisp lantern. So once you've collected the resources, you can now build the black metal pickaxe. And it's only using the black metal pickaxe that you can mine black marble. On your adventures, you'll come across these bones. These are Yotun bones or giant bones, and they are fantastic for mining black marble. Uh, you can also mine black marble from the dwarves towns, but they get really pissed off and will attack you. So this is a good way to get a lot of marble without getting attacked. The next thing you want to do is find an infested mine and they will be in these round circular buildings and you want to go in the mines because that's where you get the black cores which you need to build the black forge. So come down these stairs and these places are infested with seekers and you will be doing quite a lot of fighting. Uh, you'll come across these doors, don't be afraid to knock down the doors, you can use a pickaxe or a weapon, just bash them down. So you want to clear out these areas um, so you can take out the seekers without them getting to you. It's pretty handy. And let's you collect some of the carapaces which they drop. Let's go over this little bridge and here you'll see two chests. So quite often you'll find these potions, uh, some gold, and you see the two black cores. Now you will need five of them in order to build the black forge later on. Another thing I wanted to show you is this settlement here. So in your adventures through the Mistlands, you'll come across these towns and uh, they're populated by Dverger, which are basically uh, Scandinavian dwarves. And they are friendly initially, but as soon as you damage or try to take anything from their base, they will attack you and they're quite powerful. So you really want to watch out. Um, here I'll do a little experiment and try to mine some of the black marble and see what happens. So let's just try it out. And here you can see as soon as I start mining that they get pissed and will attack with a lot of violence. Uh, here you'll see these boxes, you want to try to break them open as quickly as possible and get the soft tissue out of them. You can also jump up here and crack open the box and you'll get the extractor which you'll need later on. also find the little towns near the water. Uh, you can also get the extractor from that crate there. I uh, just wanted to show you that the bases are quite diverse. They don't all look the same. Throughout the mistlands you'll come across these blue mushrooms. Now you do want to eat these because it'll help you to gain iter. And you need Iter later on to cast magic. The Vegvisser for the Mistlands can be found in the larger mines. And 
here you can see what it looks like and it shows you where the queen is really far away um, from where you started but thankfully not too far and you also want to collect these seal breakers you will have to smash them open and it'll give you the seal breaker fragment so you want to collect these because you'll need them later on for the boss the mines can be quite diverse so i just wanted to show you uh, some of the other places that you can find the black cores and the fragments which you'll need for later on Now that we've collected all the ingredients, we're ready to build the Black Forge. So it's pretty cool looking. I like it. And we'll just place it here. So you can see the resources you need, 10 black marble, Yggdrasil wood and the black cores. And it'll allow you to build a whole range of new weapons and tools. Pretty cool looking forward to trying out all the different recipes and you can also build here the arrows and bolts for the arbalest which is a new weapon basically a crossbow so some really cool stuff here I've collected enough materials that I've also got enough to build the Black Forge cooler, so I'll build that too while I'm here. And we've already upgraded it. Alright everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. See you next time.